when I was young, people really didn't travel that very much. Uh, the airplane hadn't arrived, and uh, the train was an important image for all of us, uh, an escape to the outer world, uh, a chance to see something over the mountains. Uh, you had this train which represents to us an opportunity for adventure. We used to jump on and off the train. Tickets weren't that important. There's a chugging, the sound of the movement of the train, uh, the energy of this train, it was like little Tibetan terrier. The obstacles that the British overcame in 1881 are still impressive even now. On the foothills of the Himalaya, they had little room to maneuver, and only by ingenious loops and switchbacks and the narrowest of tracks could the little toy train reach the top. If the train does not run, we do feel that there is something absent and we do feel it very strongly. But as long as it is there, yes, it's a part of life. And uh, every day if we don't see it, we see that something definitely is missing. India is a country of villages. More than 70% of its people live out their lives in a day-to-day -day existence where there is no hurry. And only the changing seasons mark the passage of time. This is where the railway is a lifeline bringing these remote areas in touch with the rest of the world. In South India, Palur is one of thousands of small way stations which haven't changed much since British colonial times. It is a single line track off the main route to Madras and only four trains a day stop here. Mr. Govinda Rajan is the station master. He took a demotion from a bigger station, choosing Palur to be near his sick wife and to live out his days in the peaceful quiet of the country. He shares his responsibilities with Kamakshi, a railway widow, who is officially the sweeper porter. Between the two of them, they run the entire station. Palur means milk village, and for the last hundred years, the villagers have relied on the milk train to carry their cans to the city markets. But before the train arrives, Govinda Rajan must coordinate with other stations to make sure that his line is clear for the coming train. It is a time-honored system in place since the days of the British. A ball token must be carried by the driver 
giving him the right of way on a single line track. At every station, he must pass the token and pick up another. Only then will he have permission to continue on his way. Now, I am asking line clear. This is the authority. Hello? Token C-17. The line is officially open and Kamakshi can change the signals that will indicate to the driver that the track ahead is safe. She will pass the ball on to the driver and prepares the cane pouch. She is one of the few women working directly with the trains, but gained her job after a great loss. Her husband had been a fireman on a steam engine and committed suicide when he didn't make driver. It is the railway's custom to give a position to the widow and Kamakshi will have a job for life. As the train comes in, the ball token is handed over. Now the driver can move safely into the next section. Mr. Govindarajan has dedicated 33 years of his life to the railway and understands better than anyone how much these trains mean to rural India. But changes are coming and he has received word that with his retirement, his post will not be filled and Palur station will be closed. They tell him that with only a few trains a day, there just isn't enough profit. Soon, the trains won't be stopping here, and people will have to take the roads. He will be the last station master of Palur. On Southern Railway, south of Madras, the Pondicherry Special makes her last journey. Nothing evokes the romance of the railway like a steam engine. Her arrival into Pondicherry Station is a grand event, and she will bring the platform to life for one last time. This is one of the few holdouts of steam. The locomotives were phased out of the big cities years ago, and now even small stations are seeing them vanish. But perhaps the greatest loss will be felt by those who have steam in their soul. And Don Dupani is one who feel it the most. A third generation railway man, he became what his father, a gatekeeper, always hoped he would be, a driver the pride of the line. Now he's been given the honor of taking the Pondicherry Special on her final run. <laughs> 